Tic Tac, Tic Tac, Tic Tac, on Wednesday, 6 of October, Atomic Clocks. That's right, we resume our series of quantum technology meetings with the low hanging fruit that can be harvested from the quantum tree, namely atomic clocks and network synchronization. Every sector across our digital infrastructure requires very precise timing, whether it's at home, on our mobile devices, telecom networks, energy control, or broadcast television. One sector in particular has become very reliant on precise time, the high-frequency financial trading. The nearly 6.5 billion shares that will be traded within the next 24 hours all require reference to a precise time. If you are in the atomic clock business, you'd say Business is fine. Just look at the recent contracts that Orolia landed with the European Space Agency and Leonardo to provide atomic clocks for the first 12 satellites of the Galileo Second Generation System, the so-called G2S. And atomic clocks are beautiful. This is the NIST F2, an atomic clock at the National Institute of Standards and Technology in Colorado. It's one of the world's most accurate clocks. It is designed to measure the very specific oscillations of cesium. Inside it, a gas of cesium atoms enters the clock's vacuum chamber. Microwave laser beams push the cesium atoms together into a ball and the lasers toss the ball up and it falls back down emitting photons. And a new generation of atomic clocks are on the horizon, using different gases instead of cesium and even laser light instead of microwaves to divide time into even finer slices. To address the current world challenges in network synchronization, we need the most stable, robust and accurate clock humans have ever made. And the quantum industry has answers lined up, from the metrology institutions PTV in Germany or NPL in the UK, to the space agencies NASA, ESA, their primes Thales, Alenia, Orolia, and the telecom companies like Ericsson, working with EPIC member Viavi in solving the synchronization needs of IoT and 5G, and will go inside the next generation atomic clocks from Colquanta to know what lasers, optics, and detectors they need. We will be exploring the huge challenges for the industrialization of those atomic clocks, both in the Harash space environments as well as in the volume applications. So tomorrow is already here. Join us on Wednesday, October 6 for a top-level discussion on quantum technologies. What are the short-term prospects for business? We'll have all the right experts in our Zoom room together with the pioneer companies who are ready to champion the challenge. Wow!